Hello everybody, I'm Jill with Go English Coach. Today we're going to talk about when we use past progressive and how we form it. How and when, how and when. Okay, so we're going to say past progressive. Okay, so something that started in the past, we're going to put our little chart here. This is present or now and past here, something that started here and continued, right? So this is different from something like when I was young, I used to, something I did in the past tense that I don't do anymore. This is different, okay? Past progressive is almost like you're telling a story, but it started um, we're discussing about how something started and stuck. So we form this. We have a subject. Then we have the form of to be in the past. We're here past. So we're, what are the past tenses of to be? What are the past tenses of to be? Oh, let's do this. Okay, so we've got two different ways we can say the past. We can say was or were. And then um, we've got your main verb plus ing, okay? And this part is kind of all together. I believe you guys should know all of this because I'm sure many of you have studied this already. So subject, verb, and main verb. So there's two verbs. There's kind of a supporting verb and um, the main verb, okay? So if we've got some sentences here, we can say, I was traveling last week. We can say, my friends were driving when they had an accident. The dog was running. These are the subjects, right? Subject, subject, subject. We've got the form of to be. We've got boom, boom, boom were driving and was running, okay? Okay, and then we've got this other part here that will just indicate just like that. Okay, okay, so what are some of the things we notice here? What are some things that we notice? Okay, I noticed a couple of things. So some of the things that I notice here um, are some of the things that we discussed when we looked at present progressive, okay? And some of that is, uh, let's see, some of the rules that go with how we make the ING form. So remember this, you guys, to make the ING form, this is a continuous continuous, or we also call it progressive. So some teachers might call this present or past continuous or past progressive. Those are the same thing, okay? So when we make the ING form, we simply take the verb travel and we add ING, right? Simple. So travel to traveling. However, in some cases, if you notice here and here, we've got some exceptions. So what are some of the exceptions? One exception is, let's call it an exception. So an exception is something that does not follow the rules, right? Um, so one exception to this rule is that you have the verb plus ing. That's the rule, okay? Boom. One exception is when you have a CVC. So the verb here is run, consonant, vowel, consonant. When you have this structure of a, of a word, we double 
that final syllable. Okay, so um, the exception is when you have C, V, C, consonant, vowel, consonant, we will double the final consonant. Okay, so run, for example, here's our example. Run goes to running. Okay, that's just one example. And there are, <laughs> there are some exceptions to this exception, to be honest. But let's not get into that because then we'll just drive ourselves crazy. <laughs> Um, the other exception, so this is one of them. The other exception to this rule where we simply add ing to the verb is that when we have a word that ends with, so the verb here is drive, right? Drive, D-R-I-V-E. Um, when we have one that has the silent E, we just drop the E and we add ing, okay? So let me get done here. Um, when the verb ends in silent E, we drop it and add ing, okay? So those are just two of the things I noticed from these sentences here. Let's talk about how we make past progressive sentences that are negative. Okay, so we now we know how to do the positive. I was traveling last week. Okay, let's go back to that. I was traveling last, oops, last week. Okay, to make this net negative, it's very simple. The, the verbs don't, don't change at all. There's no, um, there's no do auxiliary. It's nothing confusing. It's easy. So we're just simply going to add not here. Okay, I was not traveling last week. Okay, so let's just make this different color so it kind of stands out. Okay, I was not traveling last week. I also, we can do what here? What can we do here, you guys? Yes, we can use a contraction and most people use contractions here. I wasn't, wasn't. I wasn't traveling last week. So, um, so the pronunciation of wasn't, we have to always practice these contractions. I wasn't traveling last week, okay? So the pronunciation, we always do like this with the lines. So we've got what, that is your pronunciation. You've got the z sound here, wasn't, 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 okay? So practice that. Um, let's look at how we form a question, okay? So question, how do we form a question using the past progressive? We're gonna simply take, we're gonna switch these two. So I was traveling. I'm going to just answer like somebody's asking the question. Oops. Were you traveling last week? Okay. So you're going to use was or were. This is the formula. You know, I like formulas. Was or were plus the subject plus the main, let's just call that MV. MV is the main verb. So in this case, what is our main verb? Travel. Okay, the main verb travel plus ING. And then this kind of, if you're like a math person, this is kind of right up your alley. <laughs> Does that all make sense to everybody? I was traveling last week. I was not traveling. I wasn't traveling last week. Were you traveling last week? And then your answer for this can be, yes, I was, or no, I wasn't. Okay, so yes, I was, or no, I wasn't. Or you can simply just say yes or no. Yeah, I was traveling. 
Have a wonderful day, you guys, and I will see you very soon.